Hi, I'm Trent Drakeseth, an Applications Engineer with Electro Industries Gage Tech. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the easy steps required to configure and commission one of our Shark Series meters. We will cover the front panel interface of the Shark Series. Now, let's take a look at a Shark 200. Other than the model number, all Shark meters have the same faceplate. There are three display windows labeled A, B, and C. There are LED indicators on both sides of the display window that indicate what is being displayed. And the indicators on the lower left side is a visual percent of load bar that represents amps compared to the configured full scale reading for amps. Finally, there are four buttons, two above the display and two below. These are labeled menu, enter, and there's a graphic down arrow and right arrow. We will use these four buttons to configure the meter. Typically, during installation, we want to set up the CT and PT ratios. This allows the meter to calculate the correct readings for current, voltage, power, and energy. We will start with the configuration menu, which is represented by CFG on the display. Press the menu button. The main menu screen appears. The reset demand mode, RSTD, appears in the A window. Use the down button to scroll, causing the reset energy RSTE, Configuration, CFG, and Operating, OPR, to move to the A window. The mode that is currently flashing in the A window is the Active mode, which means it is the mode that can be configured. Let's start by configuring the basic parameters for the meter using the Configuration menu. Configuration mode follows Reset Energy on the main menu. To access Configuration mode, press the Menu button. Press the down button until the configuration mode option, CFG, is in the A window. Press the enter button. The configuration parameters screen appears. Press the down button to scroll through the configuration parameters. Scroll SCRL, CT, PT, connection, CNCT, and port. The parameter currently active, in other words configurable, flashes in the A window. Press the enter button to access the settings screen for the currently active parameter. You can use the enter button to scroll through all of the configuration parameters and their settings screens in order. So, let's program an example configuration. We will set up the meter for an 800 to 5 CT, 14,400 to 120 PT. The connection type will be a 2 CT delta connection and we will configure the RS-485 communication port for an address of 5 baud rate of 57.6K and use Modbus RTU as our communication protocol. This will cover the kinds of settings we have in the configuration section of the meter. So first of all, we want to go to the configuration menu by pressing the menu key and the down button once. CFG is flashing in the A window. Press enter to activate the configuration menu. SCRL is now flashing, so we are at the first parameter that can be set in the configuration menu. For our example, we will set this meter to not scroll through the readings. This means that from now on, we will need to use the down key to change the reading type display. Press enter and right arrow to select and toggle the setting to no. Then press enter to go to the CT settings. Remember our example is an 800 over 5 CT. The numerator is 800 and the denominator in the ratio is 5. The first setting in the CT section is the numerator. Use the right arrow key to select the digit and the down arrow to select the value for that digit. So now it is set for 800. Press enter. Now we will set the denominator which is 5. This is a typical value so it is already set as the default. But if it was different, we would use the same process to change it. Press enter. This screen is a scaling multiplier which can be used to go beyond the four digits used in the numerator. For example, if my numerator was 15,000, I would enter 1,500 in the CTN window and 10 here as a scaling to get to 15,000. We will see an example of how this works when we set the PT values in our example. Press enter to advance to the PT settings. For our example, we have a 14,400 volt line. So we use a PT designed for 14,400 volts on the primary, producing 120 volts on the secondary. So for this PT, we will see 120 volts at the meter when 14,400 volts is on the primary. By setting up the meter's PT ratio, the voltages displayed will be scaled to the primary values. This is done the same way we set up the CTs, but in this case we have a five digit number for the numerator of the ratio. So we will enter the most significant digits, 
1440 into the PTN value. Use the down arrow to set the value and the right arrow to select the digit. Press enter to get to the PTD setting. Now we want to enter 0120 as the value for the denominator. If this is already there as the default, we press enter to go to the scaling setting. Now, remember we have a numerator of 14,400, but we entered 1,440 in our numerator window. So we want to set the scaling for 10 here to scale the numerator up to 14,400. Enter 10 as the value by pressing the down arrow key. You will notice that the only possible values are 1, 10, 100, or 1,000. Press enter to go to the connection settings. In the connection settings, we will tell the meter that we are either connected to a 3 element Y, a 2 CT delta, or a 2 and a half element Y. It is critical that you know this information and that you have followed the approved connection diagrams which are shown in the user manual for the meter. These settings tell the meter how to measure and calculate many values, so it is critical that this is set up correctly. Again, refer to the user manual which can be downloaded from electroind.com for information on proper connection. Press enter to get to the RS-485 port settings for the meter. Now we are at the port settings for the meter. These will affect the RS-485 port settings on the back of the meter. This is an option so not all shark meters will have a serial RS-485 port built into the meter. You can tell quickly by looking at the back of the meter. If you are not using this port you can skip these settings. The first parameter is the serial address for the meter. This is a value from 1 to 247 and represents the address of the meter on a serial bus. All devices must have a unique address. Shark meters are designed to act as slaves on a serial bus and do not act as the master. Usually the master will be some sort of SCADA system or RTU that needs to pull data from the meter using Modbus commands. For our example configuration, we will program the meter to address 5 with a baud rate of 57.6K to communicate using Modbus RTU protocol. Use the down and right arrow keys to set the address to 5. Press enter to set the baud rate to 57.6K baud. Press enter and then the down key to set the protocol for Modbus RTU. Press enter and we are back at the setting for scroll. Now we need to update the meter with all the new information. This is a key step. So far we have only loaded the settings into a template. Now we are going to upload that template into the meter. Once you have entered the new settings, press the menu button twice. The store all yes screen appears. You can either press the enter button to save the new settings, press the right button to access the store all no screen, then press the enter button to cancel the save. If you have saved the settings, the store all done screen appears and the meter resets. We can then confirm our settings by looking at the values given in the configuration menu settings. Go to the configuration menu and press enter. Then press enter repeatedly to scroll through the settings for the meter. Remember that if we only want to change one group of settings, for example the CT ratio, we can go to that set of settings and only change those. After we are done, we press menu, menu, and go through the store all process. Now we have done enough to accomplish the basic setup of a shark meter. This concludes our demonstration of how easy it is to configure a shark series of meters. Please contact myself or our customer engineering team or you can go to our website for full details on the features, capabilities and benefits of our products. Thanks for tuning in.